Episode 6, let's go! Cat! <sighs> Anyone else wake up with the world's worst headache? Tell me about it. What did we even do yesterday? Honestly, I can't remember. Though, I did have a dream that we were being chased by someone. Oh, really? And who was that? I think it was Scarlet. What are the odds of that? I think that I dropped the same thing. As did I. She locked us in the library, then shot us to pieces? Whoa, that's the same dream I had. What do you think made you all dream up that? Either way, it was just a dream. <laughs> you used a mean glare. It's super effective. <laughs> Come on now, there's no point in getting upset at someone at what they did in a dream. Hmm, you're right, Violet. And yet... <laughs> I seem to remember you being there too, Luis. Oh man, how am I going to talk my way out of this one? Somewhere or another, Scarlet and I managed to convince everybody it was a crazy coincidence. At least I think we did. Violet was skeptical. Naturally, she had every right to be. Everything she dreamed really did happen. Let's hope this wasn't the kind of dream that comes back again. Good morning, Luis. Congrats, you made it to the fourth day. And you've become the first person to have not one, not two, but three soulmate candidates. Who'd have thought? Granted, soulmate candidates don't really exist, but hey, we'll edit that part out. You should... Uh, you should be really, really proud of yourself. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. I'll leave that for you to guess. Anyway, between your three, cough, lucky romantic interests, Tara, Allie, and Scarlet, who do you want to spend the today with? Bruh. Bruh. Uh. I don't really want to do two Scarlet dates back to back. Uh, let's do a let's do a cheeky little Tara date. Tara, all right, sounds like a plan to me. I think she's working on something in the mansion. Lead the way. I knocked on the door to the games room. Hey, Luis, what's up? I thought I'd check in and see how you're doing with your game. Let me show you what I'm working on then. Tara handed me over her game device. Not all the arts are ready yet, but I'm hoping it'll be done soon. Oh wait. It's a farming game! <laughs> I had to ditch the pigeon dating idea after finding out it was already done! That's a really a shame. For the whole world, really. But in this game, you get to live in a village out in the country. Make friends, raise crops, and... Decimate all the invaders with your giant mecha pigeon death machine! Cute face. And there's one million possible weapon combinations, and... <laughs> that sounds cool. <laughs> wow, that sounds cool. I'd love to play it. I'm curious. How come you decided to make a farming game? Um, good question. They've just got a special place in my heart. I used to play these morning till night every day. You can probably tell I'm not really a go-out-and-party kind of person. To be honest, I don't know enough people to go to parties anyways. But whatever. Uh, sometimes it's more fun to uh, just do your own thing. Hey, it's your choice on how you spend your time. Uh, sometimes it's fun to do, just do your own thing. Sometimes it's fun that sometimes it can be more fun to stay indoors and just do what you enjoy. That's how I feel about it. Enough talk, try playing it! I want to see how you feel about it. Alright, here we go. The tile screen displayed with a click. Star Blue Valley. I was a mecha plot. I was a mecha pilot who got tired of his life. The mecha corpse. And decided to move out to the country and become a farmer. I was pretty good one at that. Every season I learned to plant water and harvest new kinds of crops. Tara would give me advice for farming in every season. Her face was so close to mine she'd watch my every move with a pensive expression. Farming and fishing felt great, but fishing was almost impossible to do at first. 
the mecha parts of the game felt incredible, you could even get to know the villagers and have relationships with them too. There was just one thing that was a bit weird. First, wow, what you have so far is incredible, Terra. You think so? Yeah, really, it's incredible. I never thought you could combine farming and mecha pilot in the same game, but you did it. Just fine. Thanks, Luis. That's nice of you to say. There's just one thing I think that was a little off. What's that? Any feedback would be great. I feel like the relationships between the townspeople were a little weird. The dating aspects didn't really feel right. Ah, uh, I knew you'd notice that. It's kind of embarrassing, but I never actually dated before, so I have no idea what it's really like. And to be honest, I've never really had a real friend either. If it's not too much to ask. Her voice suddenly reduced to a whisper. Maybe you and I could be friends. I'd be honored to be your friend. That said, please don't trap me in a video game again. Sorry, what? Anyway, watching you play gave me some ideas. Want to help me with testing them? Sure, I'd be happy to help however I can. We both suggest ideas she'd implement them, and we test it together and repeat. It just kept getting better and better. Tara smiled in enthusiasm was contagious. I couldn't help but be excited for her and awed it of her drive. We spent the rest of the day working on her game, but it only felt like minutes. I'm just glad it wasn't another virtual reality game. I was feeling a bit restless after today's day to wait in my room, so I went downstairs to relax. Looks like someone had the same idea. Looks like someone had the same idea I did. Cat was relaxing on the sofa with a bottle of red wine in hand. Hey there, Luis. Care for a glass or five? Uh, sure. Sure, I'd love a glass. And that's what I'm talking about. She handed me a glass and poured it until it was full. Whoa, maybe a little too much. What's life without a few risks? Long. Much like your remaining lifespan. Cat filled her glass with to the brim and drowned it in one go. She laughed and lightly jabbed me. I felt like I was finally getting to see her real smile. Cat started chugging down the bottle. Uh. Ah. You okay? I work on TV. On a TV show that kills innocent people for shits and giggles. How okay do you think I could be? You might want to stop drinking that. You're more of a buzzkill than Damien, and I don't even know how that's possible. He killed people with buzz saws. Sorry, Luis. I didn't mean that. It's okay, Cat. No worries. Now that you mention it, how did you end up working here anyway? Oh, you know, the old career fair down the block. She lay down on the sofa. If you're here for the daily interview where I ask you about your day, I already have enough footage for today. As strange as it might sound, Cat, I'm here because I'm worried about you. And why is that? People who chug a whole bottle of wine in one night usually aren't in the best place. Worry about yourself, Luis. If you knew some of the things I'd done to survive, you wouldn't be trying to comfort me. Hmm? From what it sounds like, no one really has any choice. You just focus on being a ratings magnet. You just focus on being a ratings magnet on your dates. I'll be fine. Thanks, Luis. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Good night, Cap. Don't stay up too late. Great. The walking corpse is giving me advice on how to live. Now, do I really look that bad right now? Good night, Cap. I hurried along. Now, hold on just a... If only I could escape this island as easily as I could, I could from a very drunk cat. Wait a minute. If cat's drunk... And who's making sure that today's episode is good? Something tells me I'm not going to sleep very well tonight. The two of us were lying down in the grassy field watching the world pass us by. Where would you want us to go when we're out of here? The countryside. Seems like it'd be the only place nowadays that you can get some peace and quiet. That does sound nice. Would you come with me? I know it's not for everybody, and it's missing a lot of the... You don't even have to ask, love. Of course I'm coming with you. We're a team, right? We're a team? 
She moved closer, held her tight in my arms. Mom would have loved you. I wish you would have a chance. I wish you would have had a chance to meet her. I know. We'll make sure our kid gets a chance to meet theirs, though. <laughs> her face turned bright red. What? 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 Say that after we're actually engaged. It's cute how embarrassed she gets. You mean it? Every word. You're sweet. Not as sweet as you. Uh. Yui, I need you to cover me. Where are you? I'm sorry. It's the mayor's birthday and I can't decide which berry to give him. It can wait. But then I won't get bonus points. Come to think of it, I think we're running low on tomatoes and carrots. Do you need any, Violet? We have enough to survive the winter, but more supplies are always welcome. I'm on it. Well, the game's definitely gotten more exciting. I wanted for them to test the relationships, but maybe the, that'll have to wait a bit. I guess, I guess we'll see next time. Yeah, next time. I can't wait. We spent the rest of the morning playing Tara's game. Good morning, Cap. I've been looking for you. Ugh, not so loud. My head's killing me from all the wine last night. I still had to edit our broadcast after that, which didn't help. Somehow this scene feels familiar. Something tells me that my chance of surviving goes down for every open bottle of alcohol on the island. Maybe I should spend time reenacting Prohibition instead of going on a date. You do know Prohibition ended, right? Anyway, back to the brass tacks. Yesterday's second day with Tara went really well. Let's keep striking the iron while it's hot. Which soulmate candidate will you go? Will you be going on the second date with today? Um. Uh, let's do it in the exact same order. Allie is up next. Allie. Really now, I'm surprised considering how you KO'd yourself last time. But that's none of my business. We'll start filming down at the beach. See you there. Howdy, Luis. You ready for round two? I figured it. you might want to hang out somewhere where rollerblades don't work. Uh, I spent all the night dreaming of the next chance I could use those two little death machines. And I think you'll love what we've got in store today. There's no wheels where we're going. What do you mean? You'll see. Follow me. Ah, first I'm gonna need you to close your eyes. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Nothing to worry about, Luis. I'll be right next to you the whole time. Because that always gone. Because that's always gone well. Hasn't it? Allie moved behind me and covered my eyes with her hands. Now let's just keep walking forward, trust me. Right. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't somewhat enjoying this. My heart skipped a beat when I when she wrapped her arms around me. I cautiously took a step after step forward. First I felt dirt, then sand, then water. Are you trying to make me drown myself? What the hell, Allie, dog? This is fucked. Of course not. So I have to admit, this does look a, this does look lo a lot like how they killed people back in the day. Oh my, she's sacrificing me to the water gods. Ah, uh, you're gonna want to take a really high step forward next, or it's gonna hurt. I raised my right leg as high as I could, then stepped forward. Something clanged like metal. Next, I brought over my left leg. Keep your eyes closed for just a second longer. I just gotta do one thing. Ellie let go of me and took a few steps forward. Brace yourself. Wait, what's... Oh, we're on a boat? I was knocked off my feet by the sudden movement and opened my eyes on the reflex. Water sprayed onto my body as I struggled to regain my balance. All aboard the SS Allie. When and where did you get a boat? Pretty cool, right? I found this baby in the back of the mansion this morning. You you just found it? Anyway, I asked if I asked Kat if I could take it out for a spin. She said that as long as we stay within a few clicks of the island we're good, or the engine will automatically shut off. 
So I thought, why not have a little joyride ar around the island? Oh my god, it's the boat that didn't work for us. In the dream. Or the nightmare, I guess. So I thought, why not have a little joyride ar around the little island? Uh, I like the sound of that. What could go wrong? Uh, I like the sound of that, yeah. Peaceful. Except, I say that, but it's alley. I like the sound of that. And away we go. We cruised around the island for a while, taking note of the different building buildings covering this island. The mansion seems so small from way out here. Hours flew by as we cruised around. Allie took a deep breath and sighed. You okay, Allie? You don't seem as chipper as usual. I guess I'm a little homesick. It's nothing to do with you, promise. I just... I'm just worried about my old man. I'm sorry. Wasn't your father? Ah, uh, yeah, he's long gone. You know the old story about New Asia. I'm talking about Lucas. He was a good friend of my dad's, and he's taking care of me and, and a whole lot of other kids. Sounds like a cool dude. You sure have a way with words, don't you, Luis? <laughs> I don't dwell much on the past. It just slows you down. I couldn't agree more. Is that the amnesia talking? Who knows? She laughed as she put her hand tenderly against my cheek. I'm more worried that he'll get himself into trouble if I'm not around to keep him in check. What's he like? Let's just say that's a lot how I act. Let's just say that's that a lot of how I act is from him. But I'm much more restrained. If you're like this, I guess I wouldn't survive even a single day hanging out with him. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing at all. Ali made a sharp turn. The sudden force almost threw me out of the boat. Hey, what was that for? Oh, nothing at all. I couldn't help but smile at her. She was practically shining when she had that devilish grin. I'm sure he's doing just fine, Ali. He's probably watching right now, just to make sure you're safe. You're probably right, now that I think about it. He always wastes the days watching shitty reality TV shows. Which gives me an idea. What's that? With one hand on the wheel, Allie turned to me and kissed me on the lips. Damn. Let's go, Allie. Alpha? I kissed her back. It felt like lightning was ruining through, uh, running through my veins. The boat started to rock back and forth more and more uncontrollably, but we didn't stop. That's gotta give Lucas a heart attack. Seriously, what kind of father let their daughter go on a trashy show like this? I couldn't help but laugh. And whatever, it's been a fun ride so far. And here's to the next one with you, Luis. She kissed me again, sending the boat into an erratic frenzy. We spent the rest of the day together cruising around on the boat until we ran out of daylight. Seems like a nice night for a walk. Oh, hey, Louise. What are you doing out here? Just going out for a walk. Care to join me? Sure, why not? I got a few minutes. How about we do a circle around the mansion grounds? Sounds good to me. So, how'd your date with Allie go? Uh, we're already back to our daily interviews. Did the island run out of wine? That's wholly un unrelated. I say wholly? That's wholly un unrelated. Uh, but yes. <laughs> they ran out. Anyway, my date with Ali today was... It was awesome, yeah. Pretty great. There's never a dull moment with Ali. I'm just scratching the surface, but I like what I see. And I really want to get to know her more. Interesting, interesting. That's good. Ali's pretty out there, as far as people go. I can see why she'd have a hard time opening up. But from what I saw today, I'm sure if she would open up to anybody, it'd be you. People thought she didn't have much of a chance here. I guess you two are proving them wrong. I guess so. Keep it up with what you're doing. Our ratings have only been climbing higher and higher every day. But it's not time to celebrate just yet. I know, don't worry, I'm sticking to the plan. That's good to hear. Seriously, if you got yourself killed by not following the plan at, at this point, you deserve it. Looks like we finished our walk. Anyway, I gotta get back to work, but it was a nice break. Night, Sleese. Night, Cap. I walked back to my room and plopped on my bed. 
Time to get some shut eye. The scent of something delicious being freshly baked wafted through the kitchen. It's just the two of us. Looks like this batch didn't turn out well either, she frowned. Hey, on the bright side, I can at least tell it's bread this time. Uh-oh, that wasn't the right thing to say. <laughs> it has been a while since I've done this. Sorry, Luis, I wanted you to have something good. I reached for one of the pieces of bread. Wait, I'm sure it's... I took one bite, then wolfed, down the... wolfed the bread down like it was the last of its kind. It's delicious. I reached for another to prove my point. You really mean it? I took a moment to wolf down the second piece. Cross my heart. You're just saying that. She smiled. Uh, ah, that's the moment I've been waiting for. She hugged me with all her might. But I love that about you, you know? I love you, Louise. I held her tight. I love you too. For a moment, the whole world was just me and her. And that was all that mattered. What I wouldn't give to have you back like this. A beach scene? Seriously? Not only gracious, but oh, but oh so predictable. Oh come on, it's the beach, don't be so negative. I guess you're right. It's not every day you get to go to the beach. Are you alright Tara? You looked better. Tara was practically crawling on the beach, saying like a zombie with one arm. Sunlight! My worst enemy, we meet again! You piece of shit! There's some shade under the beach umbrellas over there, Tara. You look like you could use it. I swear I've never seen Tara move so fast. Let's go in the water, come on! Scarlet grabbed Violet by her hand and pulled her towards the water. Ah, but I didn't bring anything to change. Now that's the spirit. Wait up, you guys. And just like that, they're off. You up to join them? I'd be crazy to miss out on this. Just one thing first. Allie pulled me in with her arms and kissed me passionately. It's hotter when the other girls are around. You think they saw? Can Allie do what the hell? I couldn't stop my jaw from dropping. <laughs> the look on your face is priceless. My god. Fucking Allie's got a public fetish, bruh. Try to keep it up. Allie ran to join the other girls in, in the water. I smiled and followed suit. We spent the rest of the morning enjoying the warm weather on the bite on the the beach <laughs> on the beach, mate. Morning, Luis. How'd you sleep? Pretty well, considering how you edit the footage that keeps me alive drunk. That sounds like a win-win to me, if you ask me. Can you believe it? We're already on the sixth day of the show. Is it already? Time sure goes by fast. No kidding. Anyway, it's time to wrap up for phase two. You just need to go on a second date with your last soulmate candidate shouldn't be too hard now please don't jinx me break a leg seriously actually breaking a leg would be a lot better for you than messing up today's date not helping cat <laughs> time to get today's date started with none other than my third soulmate candidate scarlet let's go are we gonna have another zombie apocalypse i found scarlet out out for a stroll outside the mansion she seemed a little down. Hey, Scarlet, you doing okay? Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, uh, it's just you, Luis. You almost gave me a heart attack. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's a. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm just a bit on the edge after the whole zombie date thing. Whatever it was. I guess I'm feeling a little sad about all that. Why? You saved everybody. We wouldn't have needed to save anybody if it wasn't for me. Uh, don't worry about it. We all make mistakes, Scarlet. Don't worry about it anymore. Most people don't make mistakes that turn everybody into zombies. Well, yes, but hey, it makes for good TV. Which, inadvertently, is pretty good for keeping me alive, but I'll keep that quiet on, quiet on that. Besides, you did it because you were trying to help me get my memories back. That means more to me than I could say. I'm sorry I couldn't do it. If it's okay with you, I'll try again. I'm sure this time. Let's not worry about that for now. Thanks, though, I appreciate it. For now, I just want to get to know you better, Scarlet. We got interrupted last time, to say the least. Could you join me in making up for the, some lost time? That would be fantastic. There's somewhere I'd like to go, if it's okay with you. Lead the way. You won't regret it. At least, I think you won't. Should I be worried? 
come on, let's go. She grabbed my hand and pulled me along with her. Who could say no to a girl who could turn <laughs> you into a zombie? Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Dude. Behold. There's a nightclub in the mansion? There is now. I made it myself. Granted, I used it more as testing grounds than a real nightclub, but the staff really wanted to get some wanted something to blow off the steam in. And okay, I cheated a little bit. I made a robot that made the nightclub for me, but it still counts. I think you're probably the first person to ever say something like that. Also, I didn't know you knew how to build robots. That's amazing. Hell yeah, it's cool. I get the feeling that building things that makes to make people happier was what I enjoyed the most before I came here. What do you mean by that? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Actually, maybe you're the one person who would. Maybe it's worth a shot. Could she be like me? I There's so much in life I can't remember for some reason. I couldn't help but raise an eyebrow. There was a lot of broken people after the war in New Asia. Not just broken bones and missing limbs, but shattered minds. People trapped in their own heads. I was told I had a gift... I had a gift for research, a gift that might help those people be able to reclaim their lives. So I finished school early and got my PhD. I led a task force dedicated to helping the survivors. We helped them forget their most painful, most traumatic memories and move on. It was my life's work, you know, but now I can't remember what it was, how it worked. If we even got anywhere without our research, with our research. To be completely honest, I can't really remember how I got here, either. I'm sorry to ask, but how on earth did that happen? If I knew before, I definitely don't know now. Maybe testing got dangerous and I wasn't willing to test on someone else. Maybe I, I don't know. The crazy thing is, I went from that to being on some kind of dating show. What the hell? I guess it does sound pretty weird. And the idea of getting married in one week? Who wrote this, an idiot? I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh. But what do I even have to lose at this point? I wouldn't look at it that way. I can't remember anything either, but I'm alive. As long as I'm alive, I've got everything to lose and everything to gain. An optimist, huh? That's worth something. I guess you'd understand better than anyone. What do you plan to do after this is all over? Honestly, I don't know. I want my memories back, but if I can't get them back, I just try to make the best of things. That's some plan. I'm still working on the details. I'm still working the details out. Give me a break. At least you remember some things. I can't even remember my name at first. You got me beat there. We talked for hours about how we both felt about our situations. The good things, the bad things, about forgetting who you are. We laughed about everything, uh, about forgetting the embarrassing moments that probably plagued, <laughs> plagued others for a lifetime. We laughed at the moments that truly made life worth living. The moments that made your life unique. It's nice to have someone that understands. You know, I've got a silly idea if you're interested. Let's hear it. Getting engaged in a week is stupid, and a person who would agree to that is even stupider than that. But I, I think I'd say yes if it were you, Luis. If only to see where life goes with someone like you. That's... Shh, shh, let me finish. Regardless of who you ask on the last day, I'd like to be your friend in the times to come. If you'll be mine, I can't remember the last time I had a friend to just talk to about how I feel. I think this was the first time that I felt a little better about what happened. I would want you to feel better about the past too. I don't want you to feel alone in this world. It's sad enough, you know? And maybe I'm just being foolish, but who knows? Maybe if we're still in each other's lives after this, we'll be able to help each other take back the lives we wanted. What do you say? I was thinking the same thing, Scarlet. I'm glad, but uh, how to say, I'd still prefer if you... <laughs> I still prefer it. you pick me. What can I say? I'm a bit competitive. On second thought, I'm very competitive. Just saying, but out of all the girls, I'm the best educated. 
<laughs> had the most illustrators career, one first place in the National New Asian Science Exhibition, <laughs> exhibition and well, she's flexing on me. I laughed out loud as she listed her accomplishments. One by one, she made angry faces at me in mocking anger. But most of all, I want you to have a happy life, and I think someone else might get it wrong. We spent the rest of the evening enjoying each other's company. The laughter and the smiles never stopped. She never let go of my hand during our walk. That was cute. I'm feeling a little bit of, of the late night munchies. I guess I'll go ahead and downstairs. Oh, hey, Luis. I was just about to go up and check in on you. Hey there, cat. What's up? Uh, there were some fancy desserts here from last week, but I can't find them anymore. Guess I'll take that out. <laughs> I guess I'll take that out of the Brothers Five's paychecks. How do you know it was them? They're like clockwork. Uh, munch. This was the Brothers Five's, no doubt about it. It was fucking out. Ellie made direct eye contact with me, then hightailed it out. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk to you. What's up? How'd your date with Scarlett today go? Awesome, yeah. It was amazing. I feel like I really got to know the real Scarlett today. And for the first time, I think I feel like I've truly been understood. I'm glad to hear that, Luis. Really. Scarlett puts on a front that's nothing like how she really is. I'm glad you can see behind it. She must really trust you. I'm glad she does, believe me. More importantly though, Scarlet's fan base has been ravenous for new content. From what I saw, you delivered today. I'm a solid 85% sure you won't wake up in a torture chamber tomorrow morning. Good job, Luis. Thanks. Well, that should be enough. <laughs> that should be enough footage for today. Thanks, Luis. You'll be happy to know that phase two of the plan was a smashing success. That's great to hear. No kidding, the love square between Tara, Allie, and Scarlet has viewers on the edge of their seats. You've actually broken the records for ratings on a killer dating game show. It's not as niche as it sounds. Do I get a plaque for that? This is, this has to got to, this, this has got to count for something somewhere. We don't have it printed yet, but I've prepared your tombstone in advance if you're looking for a souvenir. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Cat. Let it never be said that I, I am anything but supportive. Anyway, we're on phase three. It's pretty much the same as phase two, except with third dates this time. In one, have it. What's that, Cat? I'm sure you've got a favorite in mind between Tara, Allie, and Scarlet. If you want to maximize your chance of getting out of your life, save the best for last. It gives the audience something to look forward to. Sounds good to you? Uh, makes sense to me. Good. That's all for today. I'll see you later. Night, Luis. Good night, Cap. And thanks for the help till now, Cap. I realized I'd probably be screwed without you. Don't thank me yet. Guess I'll call it a night. I walked back to my room. Time to get some shut eye. So what's this supposed to do? It's only a prototype, but technical details aside, you can think of it as a memory rewriter. So it rewrites memories? Oh my god, am I gonna get my memories back? Pretty much. Think of it like a surgeon's scalpel. With it, you can make someone forget things as big as who they are, or as small as specific or as a small as a specific conversation. So if you use this on someone, anything's fair game. Jesus Christ, the thunder. <laughs> you could erase any, so if you use this on someone, anything's fair game, you could erase anything you wanted? Exactly. Well, maybe it's not really a scalpel since it's, since it comes with the rest of them, since it comes with the reset button. It's sad though. This was supposed to help people after the war. I was supposed to help people after the war. I'm sorry, Scarlet. Don't worry about it. I may not be able to help them, but it doesn't mean I can't help you and your partner escape from this madness. Wait, 
It doesn't mean I can't help you and your partner escape from this madness. Thank you, really, thank you so much. I know you're taking an incredible risk for us that honestly, most people would never. Don't mention it, Luis. It's what I do. If they manage to trace it back to me, then I'll accept whatever comes. It'd be the first time I had I helped somebody in quite some time. Scarlet. The boat is just past the woods behind the rocky enclave near the beach. It won't be there forever, so act quickly. It'd be suicide to go for it during the day, so I recommend heading near midnight. Thank you, Scarlet. You sure you don't want to come with us? Someone has to stay here to help the people that fall in the spider's web. You don't have to be so noble. I envy her, you know, to get to leave this place with you. But someone needs to stay here to do what's right. Wow. Uh, I think we're going to end this episode here. Uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, start our uh, third dates uh, next episode, I think. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, adios.